So recently in the Russia-Ukraine war, we heard about a new drone called Kamikaze drone. So in this video, we're going to understand what are Kamikaze drones. Actually, these drones are made in Iran by HISA, which is Iran's aircraft manufacturing company. In Iran, these are called Shahid-136 drones. If you remember in the month of August, Iran had sent its first shipment of drones to Russia. Those were the same Shahid-136 drone, which are also called Kamikaze by Russia. Now, why have they used the word Kamikaze? Kamikaze is basically a Japanese word, which means divine wind. In World War II, Japanese fighter pilots used to fly planes with explosives. Not only they went and did their task, but after doing the task, they used to crash their planes into the enemy target for causing maximum damage. So basically, they went on a suicide mission. That is why these drones are also called as long-range suicide drone. Because after finishing the task, these drones can either come back or crash into an enemy target. Usually, if you see, drones get back to their base after doing their task. But this can also go and crash into the enemy target. This is what makes it lethal. These drones are in a way doing the task of a cruise missile or a guided missile. They will hover for a while, gather intel, send it to the base and once the task is over, they will go and crash into an enemy target. Now let's understand some of its capabilities. This drone can fly low and that's what makes it difficult to detect. The maximum speed of this drone is around 185 km per hour or 114 miles per hour. If you look at the weight of this drone, it is somewhere around 200 kilos. And as I said, after the mission, this drone is supposed to crash into an enemy target. That means it also has a warhead and that contains 36 kilos of explosive charge, which is connected by GPS. The maximum range or you can say maximum distance it can cover is around 2500 kilometers or 1550 miles. The length of this drone is about 3.5 meters and the wingspan is about 2.5 meters. They are stored in a launch rack and are fired in multiples. If you are aware of the Saudi-Yemen conflict, in that Houthi rebels are backed by Iran. Iran gave these drones to Houthis for attacking Saudi oil refineries. Likewise, if you remember on 15th August, there was a drone attack on US base in Syria. I also have a video on it and the United States even said that Iran was behind that drone attack. This is the same drone that was used there as well. So these drones have been heavily tested before shipping it to Russia. The cost of a single piece of kamikaze drone is around $20,000. A cruise missile costs more than a million dollars. Of course, a cruise missile has a bigger role to play and it also carries more explosive. But the point I'm trying to make is, kamikaze drones can do surveillance, take pictures and send it to the base, then return or crash into an enemy target. So many options are there. It is actually an important piece of armory a country must have if they are planning for next generation air dominance. And 35 to 50 kg of explosives is enough to blow up targets like energy grid, air defense system batteries. Actually, the main reason Russia is using this kamikaze drones is to destroy Ukraine's air defense system batteries because United States, France and few other countries have supplied air defense systems to Ukraine. And that has actually helped Ukraine to a great extent in avoiding Russian aerial attacks. That is why Russia is using it and they have taken a delivery of 1000 of such drone for destroying NATO's anti-aircraft batteries. And by the way, even Indian Air Force is now armed with kamikaze drones. Now, Ukraine is already facing hard time in deciding where to place the limited stocks of air defense systems. As you can see in this article, there is a pressure on the West for supplying more air defense system to Ukraine. And by the way, read this article properly, you will realize NATO is saying all of this. So now it should be very clear to all those people who still believe that only Russia and Ukraine is fighting and Russia is the aggressor. No, Russia is fighting the entire NATO and the West. Ukraine is just a battleground. But anyhow, United States and Europe are now running out of weapons to supply it to Ukraine. Because now they are realizing what blunder they have done. Their own countries are suffering recession, energy crisis, high fuel prices. On top of that, their governments are constantly supplying military equipment, giving military aid in billions of dollars to Ukraine. This is not a coincidence. Unnecessarily, the West, because of the United States government's provocation, more specifically, Joe Biden's administration, Today, the whole world is in this mess. Had they not expanded NATO towards the east, this all wouldn't have happened. Look at Russia's strategy. Now we are in the eighth month of this war. For seven months, Russia kept fighting the West, drained their military equipment, shut off the gas supply, 
made alliances and cooperation with the eastern and middle eastern countries and now the western countries are ultimately suffering Russia's direct effort as well as many eastern countries indirect support to Russia have actually made the west slow down and from the eastern side now Russia is sending its nuclear bombers near Alaskan airspace US midterm elections are coming Joe Biden and his government's approval ratings are all time low United States has practically entered recession France and Germany two big European countries are facing massive protest in their own country with respect to high energy prices The European Central Bank is again planning to increase the interest rates to tackle inflation and then winter is coming. Finally Russia and North Korea they are ready with their nukes. Saudi Arabia is planning to join BRICS. Many European leaders are going to lose their job. UK's prime minister is going to quit soon and someone already has lost a job for making remark on Indians who contribute massively to UK's economy. Now if UK wants to have trade deal with India they have to bow and listen to India. Have you ever seen anything like this before? This is called leverage. Now I leave it up to you to decide. Pressure is building on which side. So this was a brief summary of what is actually happening right now. You will notice that these two months, November and December are going to be a game changer. There will be a massive shift in global power. Anyways, I hope you found this video informative. Thank you for watching it.